So as kids get settled into class this week, many of them will be trying out for sports at their school. I know my daughter has volleyball tryouts today. And parents, you need to, though, be aware of a health danger. Sudden cardiac death is the leading killer among student athletes. Bob Sefcheck is director of the sports, uh, Jacksonville Sports Medicine Program. He's joining us now to explain what causes this and also warning signs. Bob, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. First of all, um, what is sudden cardiac death? Uh, sudden cardiac death is, is cardiac arrest, um, and it's generally caused by an electrical disturbance in the heart. Something goes wrong with the electricity of the heart. So a lot of times people don't quite understand heart attack and cardiac arrest. And it's not that young kids are having heart attacks, they're having cardiac arrest. Something goes wrong with the electricity versus the plumbing of the heart. So would there have necessarily been some kind of warning sign then to, you know, let this student or their parent know that, that this may be something that puts their child at risk, that they have this condition? The scary thing is sometimes there's no warning sign at all, but uh, other times we can pick up on some subtle signs and symptoms. It could be feeling dizzy, uh, feeling lightheaded, fainting at times, maybe not being able to keep up with your peers that are running some sprints and things like that, uh, just not feeling right, whether it could be some uh, rapid heart rate, some, some kind of weird symptoms that are going on like that, that would be a yellow flag for some kids, uh, for the kids to talk to their parents or their doctors about. And it's interesting because you could see how a kid who wants to try out for that team or make that team might not share that information because they think, well, maybe it's just heat or maybe because I didn't hydrate enough, which is why it's so important that parents have this conversation with their child. Absolutely. You know, uh, just like concussion to yeah. these cardiac symptoms, you know, kids may just feel that they're normal. Uh, some of the kids may be going out for sports the first time and may not yeah. e ever e exactly yeah. exerted as much stress as goes into athletics nowadays. So I, I know that every year, um, you know, Jacksonville Sports Medicine is involved then in this program that helps give basically sports physicals, connect these local students then with healthcare providers to offer them these physicals. And I was shocked when you told me just a few minutes ago of the 455 that you conducted, you actually offered these kids EKGs. Yeah, so uh, we do our annual sports screening program and, and through a partnership we had this year with SafeBeat, uh, an organization that came in and did EKGs, we offer the EKG on everyone. So we did about 455 EKGs, but surprisingly 81 had some findings on it that needed some further follow-up. And what's interesting about that also is, is that that's not typically, I mean, when I took both my kids to get their sports physicals, my doctor, my pediatrician, and I'm not being critical of my pediatrician by any means, right. they don't typically, though, give an EKG to a child because you think perhaps they're too young, they're healthy, why do you have to worry about them having a cardiac problem? Well, EKGs are, are, are not very sensitive, so they do produce a lot of false positives. So out of the 81, we had only about nine that were withheld from sports, and, and since those numbers or since those kids went to their physicians, they were further cleared. So sometimes it causes some alarm, but sometimes it does pick up on, on some significant findings. As you know, we've had in the past kids that we've found uh, that ended up actually going in for heart surgery. Better safe than sorry, yes. right? As yes. a parent, you know, you love your kids, you don't want anything to happen, which is why it's also very important that you make sure as a parent that you have a conversation with your coach, your child's coach, and make sure that you encourage that coach to talk with your child, particularly if they won't talk to you, about any warning signs that they might be, uh, you know, uh, experiencing so that something bad like sudden cardiac death does not happen. Bob, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, the, also, the importance of having AEDs, CPR trained, uh, you know, the coaches, coaches as right. well, another question to ask your your students coach are you CPR trained where is the AED and does everyone who is at practice or everyone who's at that game know where the AED is just in case something happens now if you missed any of this information we will post the entire interview on newsforjacks.com